Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networkings. In this video, we are going to see BGP configuration step by step process. So, how to configure the BGP in this Cisco Packet Tracer, we are going to see in the detailed way. Before going into the configuration, we will see some basics of BGP. BGP abbreviation is Border Gateway Routing Protocol. BGP protocol is majorly used in the ISPN like internal service provider and to establish the routing between two different organizations or the two different companies and we are using in the large scale of enterprise networks as well let's say if you we are running two organization two organization is located into the two different location means so we will purchase some lease lines or the mpls lines. so for those lines we will use in the bgp connection to establish the networks and in bgp routing protocol operates performing different two as and this is a path vector protocol in BGP, we have two types. One is IBGP, another one is EBGP. IBGP stands for Internal Border Gateway Protocol. EBGP stands for External Border Gateway Protocol. So what is IBGP and EBGP difference? I will quickly explain into the here. And the configuration also, there is slightly change in the IBGP configuration and EBGP configuration. That I will explain into the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now we will see what is the difference. And IBGP is used to exchange the routing information within single AS. To, to explain in the clear way, IBGP used for the internal routing within the single AS. Within the single AS, this IBGP will play, but EBGP will play into to the two different AS. Let's say e EBGP is used to exchange the routing information between two different AS, or we can say exchanging the routing information between two different AS. Generally, eBGP we will use in the ISPN, IBGP we will use in the, within the organization or the within the internal end. IBGP is required for the full mesh of topology. In case if you're not there, then we need to use ref outer route reflector or the configuration, configuration concepts to become the full mesh topology for the IBGP. IBGP does not have loom prevent mechanism by default. Okay, To overcome this, we need split horizontal rule. EBGP has a built-in loop prevents mechanism when routers will reject the routes that contain their own AS. Let's say we have two router and the two router is belongs to same AS. If those routes exchanging from those routers means that will reject because it will be recognized this uh, this routes is learned from this same AS, so that will be reject. So those mechanism is by default it is available into the EBGP. So BGP port number is 179. Administrative value, we have two administrative value. EBGP administrative value is 20 and IBGP to administrative value is 200. Let's, the metric is attribute. See, let's say if you have OSP of the metric is bandwidth, RIP, the metric is hop count. But in the uh, RIP BGP, there is no uh, metric. So the metric is attribute. We have attribute. There is a lot of uh, attributes is there, local, weight, etc and bgp autonomous system so in bgp we have two types of autonomous system one is private autonomous system another one is public autonomous system so what is private and public autonomous system is very simple public autonomous system generally we will use in the uh, I, B, B, uh, EBGP and private I, uh, autonomous system and generally we will use in the IBGP. So let's say private already we, 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 we can say as a private IP address, public IP address. So public IP address generally we will pay into the internet end and private IP address will play in the internet end. End, right? So same way in BGP AS number also will same play in the same uh, one. So public autonomous and autonomous system number generally we will use in the ISPN which is located into the uh, internet phase one and the private autonomous system number generally we will play in the, the within the organization or the within the ISP we will use the private autonomous system number this is the range starting from one to and this is the ending starting for the public and private starting in the AS number is 64512 and the ending is 65535 now we will do the BGP configuration. Before going the configuration, I will quickly explain the topology here. So we will assume like three different office. This is branch one and branch two and branch three. And each branch are connected each other. And this protocol we are going to use BGP to communicate each other. And branch one we are going to use AS100. 
and branch 2 we are going to use AS200 branch 3 we are going to use AS300 and the only the interface configuration is done because to save the time and remaining configuration is not done anything I will just quickly go to the router I will show you the show running configuration we will understand see only this interface configuration is done and there is no other configuration there is no other configuration is done okay now we will go to enable config terminal router bgp then as number is 100 before going that we will just change the name here so host name is B R A N C H branch underscore one to get the identification now router bgp as number is 100 then neighbor then neighbor we need to give so what is the neighbor we need to give it is this is the router this neighbor is this one right 192 168.10.2 so this neighbor we want to give it here 192.168.10.2 then we need to give remote AS so remote AS is 200 we need to give okay this is done then we need to advertise our own network so our own network is 192.168.1.1 slash 24 so 192.168.1.0 and we need to give mask 255.255.255.0 okay no synchronization so branch one configuration is done now we will go to branch two router we will just quickly configure the things item here if you show here enable show ip interface brief only the ip address configuration is done nothing else so i will go to the router i will do the quickly configuration here Config the host name branch branch two then a router BGP two hundred is the AS number then neighbor so here we need to give two neighbor one is because this router is connected AS100 and this router is connected AS300 branch 1 and branch 3 is connected right so we need to give both uh, neighbor details so neighbor 192.168.110.1 because this is 10.1 and the remote AS is 100 okay this is done now once we hit the configuration the BGP is up okay um now we need to give 20.2 and the as number is 300 so 20 as number is 300 and 20.2 then we need to advertise our own network so one network is 192 168 2.1 24 so 192.168.2.0 then mask 255.255.255.0 we if you not give the mask okay if you give this range automatically this ip address will be taken care because this is belongs to class c and the class c default subnet mask is slash 24 right so this will be taken care if you not define any mask okay no synchronization done now i'm going to this router branch 3 router enable config t force name branch 3 or reference then router bgp as number is 300 then router bgp neighbor we need to give the neighbor address is 192.168.20.1 
192.168.20.1 then remote AS is 200 after hit the command BGP will comes up see after hit the command BGP is comes up then we need to advertise our own network 192.168.3.0 3.0 now i'm not going to call mask i'm i'm going to keep as it is even though if i keep as it is slash 24 will be uh, taken automatically because this is class c subnet that i will show you here okay now no synchronization so this configuration is done now in to see the bgp status show ip bgp summary okay to see here BG, 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 BGP is up and this is 30 minutes and we have four prefix okay and if you see this BGP number is 300 and the AS number is 200 because this is 300 and the AS number is 200 okay so those details we can see in the BGP summary okay then to see the BGP show IP BGP we can see the routes 192.168 this is routes if you see here 192.163.0 slash 24 automatically taken but if you see our configuration I will just go to quickly up arrow we have not called anything we just give the network 192.163.0 but if you see here automatically slash 24 is taken care okay and 0.0, .0 means this is the local one okay and i is refer for internal okay and dot star means dot means valid one and the uh, the arrow mark means this is the best route it mean okay so before that we will just try to ping the things here so from we are branch 3 router we will just try to ping branch 2 router so the branch 2 router ip address is 192.168.20.1 192.168.20.1 okay so we are able to ping now we will we will check the device reachability from branch 1 to branch 2 and branch 3 so i'm going to branch 1 pc we will just quickly do the uh, reachability check for this one okay ping 192.192 192.168.2.1 we will just try to ping that IP address we are getting replay and same way we will just try to ping this IP address 192.168.3.1 3.11 yes so now we are able to reach the system from branch 1 to branch 2 PC and branch 3 PC okay now we will do something uh, more in advance okay to see the bgp route show ip bgp we can see the bgp and the how drops show ip route okay here we can see see 20 means as we said uh, there is uh, two ad values one is uh, 20 another one is 200 here we are advertised only ebgp because this this all are the two different as right so that's why the ad value is giving us 20 if we advertise as a ibgp means the ad value ad value will be shown here 20 in case if there is high possibility to ask in the interview there is one router the router is running bgp how do we find out this router is running ibgp or ebgp so if you or if there is a this link is belongs to bgp we want to know this router this routes is belong to ibgp or ebgp mean so simple we can go to the show ip route and to do the filter for this route and from this value we can find out or there is one more possibility show run if you if you see the running configuration on what is the as number of the router the oh sorry the what is the uh, bgp as number is uh, 100 right and what the neighbor as number is 200 if it is same means that is ibgp if it is two as the router as is difference and the neighbor as is difference means this is ebgp okay then i will try to show you show ip bgp neighbor show ip bgp neighbor this is very useful command to do the troubleshooting so this is the remote as number we can see and the bgp hello packet the hello interval is 60 and the default timer i mean the hello timer is 180 three packets into 
keep like so 16 to 3 180 so that what it is referred and here it is showing the receive and send packet this is generally using for the high level of uh, troubleshooting and as we said the port number is 179 right so if you see here the bgp port number is 179 we are using here okay now we will explain the bgp states we have bgp states like ideal connect establish uh, right so i will uh, show you uh, the, the bgp states here so before if you see here this is bgp and it is upright so what i will do i will we will clear the uh, bgp session here so how do we clear the bgp session is clear ip bgp then star okay then if you do soft means that is soft reset that means only the soft reset will be happen if you not give here that will be hard reset so now we are going to do the hard reset so to uh, see the bgp states okay so to see the bgp states so i'm just going to give here see now it is bgp states here if you see here show tech so tcp brief here if you see here the state is nothing after sometimes if you see here the bgp will uh, show us the established one show ip bgp summary See now the BGP neighbor is came up. Now it is established. See previously uh, in actually in Cisco packet tracer it is not showing the state, but in the real devices if you try with the show TCP brief it will give the uh, state here. Now it is established. Okay. So now if you see uh, BGP's uh, uptime it is 17. Previously it was 26. This is 17, right? So in this way we can uh, try to see the BGP status, BGP state okay so i hope you have liked this video if you have any doubt regarding this topic please feel free to write the comments in the comment box also please like this video thank you we will meet you with the next video